weather that we are having the last few days in the Netherlands is so amazing. It is, it makes me really remember how amazing spring and summer is in Europe. Although our apartment is so warm already, like it gets me every time that there are no buildings and houses that are built here in the Netherlands that can handle this hot weather. They're just not the same as Australian houses. Australian houses are built for this kind of weather. They experience it far more often, but it is hot. It is very hot. Anyway, today we are talking about another dialect. We are talking about West Vlaams. West Vlaams dialect. I have had a few people reach out and say you should see if you can understand it and it is notoriously difficult to understand this dialect from what I hear from other Dutch people and the reputation that it has as being completely different to standardized Dutch is crazy. So I thought I'd have a go at it. I thought I would have my hand in trying to understand West Vlaams. Here is a quick map on the screen of where this dialect is mostly spoken and obviously these people move across the country and it is not only spoken in this area but this is where it stems from. So in Belgium I thought this was a really nice follow-on from the last video when I really was talking about the differences between Dutch and Flemish. So this kind of topic interested me as well is that there are various versions of Vlaams that also coexist within Belgium. Before we get into the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to Skillshare, who is the sponsor of this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creatives. They have such a massive range of classes and all you have to do is type in what your interest is. There is a class on there for that and they are taught by industry professionals. They don't have ads and it's incredibly affordable at just $10 a month for an annual subscription. So this month as one of my favorite classes that I've watched, I stumbled across this indoor gardening class and again, like most of you know, we have just moved into our new apartment in The Hague. I have been getting super, super into collecting some more houseplants because I'm a classic millennial and why would it be any other way? But I want to branch out and start learning about how to grow our own herbs and whether we can make use of some of this balcony space to grow some veggies. So this class is perfect. It goes over some basics, but it also branches out and gives you some good knowledge in all different fields of growing plants in a small space. I have said this time and time again, but there's literally everything on Skillshare. Like the fact that you can go on and learn how to look after plants or you can learn how to play musical instruments or how to draw. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free premium trial of Skillshare and you guys will have the chance to explore all of the wonderful classes that are on there. Without anything else, let's jump into listening to West Flanders. Flanders? Hier al, of er dus naar gewoon, als je de talen mee, dan kan ik eigenlijk ons anders ons. Oh, oké. Okay. Ik zie, I can see that they've actually put Dutch subtitles under here. Maybe I'll quickly turn the subtitles off and just see if I can go free ball it. Um, I heard the word taal. So they're talking about language, which kind of seems obvious. Oké, okay, let's go. En dan staan de sprang is heel anders, maar kan ik die talen nooit mee? Kan ik ook zo'n west plat, plat, west plat? Oké, okay, so the w sound they have in the... I don't hear that in the dialect of Dutch that I speak. The w is a v. But here I can very clearly hear a w sound. And the ne is also a little bit differently said. Flams gesproken. Flams gesproken. Gesproken. Gespro. Is dat een normal cut-off? Die mensen die in Oostende spreken, als met een no en dat soort uh, 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 sliggen, je kan dat die. Sliggen die kanten, nee. Nu denk ik, spreek ik wat ik nu Ik spreek ik gewoon wakker? Nee? I'm actually just guessing. I'm full of guessing. I very much don't understand what she's saying. <laughs> yeah. 
Natuurlijk, als er iemand komt. En... Ja, natuurlijk, als er iemand komt. Ja, oké. Okay. Bespreek je Frans. Spreek. Oké, okay, oké. Okay. I feel like I'm getting some context. Is someone, I think she's talking about when she speaks West Flanders, Flans, and when she speaks Dutch. If someone comes that also speaks West Flanders, then natuurlijk spreek ze gewoon Flans. I think, I think. I spreek ook gewoon nee. I speak, ik spreek gewoon ook nee. Normaal gezien. Spreek de taal lekker wat nu spreek. Spreek ik lekker de taal wat ik nu spreek. Oké, okay. dus. She prefers to speak West Vlaams. En mijn kinderen ook allemaal. Hey. With my children and my husband. Kleerjongens. En mijn kleerjongens ook. Hey. Kleerjongens. Kleerjongens. I don't know what that means. Oh ja, gewoon nu niet zijn de hele kleinkinders. De hele klanken. De hele klanken. So the A becomes a E, almost. So like the hele, yeah. The beautiful sound, the delicious sounds. The beautiful sounds. Gewoon meer een beetje dat mooie Vlaams, hè. Een beetje mooie Vlaams. I kind of missed that sentence. Maar toch weer, normaal zie je spreken ze plat. Oké, okay, normaal, normaal gezien spreken ze, ze gewoon plat. If they don't have to, they just speak. Ja, yeah, plat is a word used for the variety of Dutch that people speak in the, in the country. Side. Mm, ik ben dat dat gewoon toch een beetje bluft, west vlaams Maar je hoort dat wel aan de mensen dat ze verhouding doen. Voet, west vlaams Voet? I don't think I've heard that word before. Voet, west vlaams Misschien dat dat interessant is, anders gaan ze dat niet doen, nee. Wow, no. That went way too fast. I'm lost again. One minute. Ze zijn zes boeken dat ze nu het maken van heel west vlaams Die ook. Zien, ja, we zien dat gewend. Maar normaal... Op... We're used to it. Wij zijn gewend. Wie, wie, instead of wij. Did I hear that right? Wie, wie zijn gewend? Gewend, gewend. Als er twee komt en die mens... Twee. ...spreekt schoen Vlaams. Gewoon niet ook ik ook antwoord. Nee, dat kun je niet. Maar ik spreek normaal toch geen schoen Vlaams. Dus of wat ik... Normaal gesproken spreek ik geen schwa. Dus she say schwa Frans. Is that the word for like similar to what the Dutch have with RBN? Is schwa Frans like the name given to like standardized, standardized Flemish? Normal. Dat she. Oh, I'm full on guessing. I'm full on guessing. Of wat de kinders. Het is eigenlijk een plat Frans. Nee, dat is plat Vlaams. En op school vroeger? En op school. At school. <laughs> op school vroeger. Dus um, earlier at school. Toen? Dan is was dat zo streng niet of van jongeren. They weren't so strict then. Wie er op school Vlaams? Maar van om in de, in de speelplaats te wonen of niet wel, dan spraak niet er plat. They spoke with each other plot, Vlaams. Dus het uh, ja, variatie, de, de versie, de, de, de version of Vlaams that she speaks. En dat had nooit niemand van die vrouw gezien, nee, mooi Vlaams spreken of dat. Okay, so that's interesting to know that earlier there wasn't, she, I think she's describing that there wasn't so much discrimination between speaking your dialect and speaking the standardized version of, of Flemish. I think there was a lot more acceptance, if I've heard that right, or maybe she's like completely explaining the opposite, that you were meant to be speaking Moi Flams 
um, I'm assuming that means standardised Flemish. Um, but naturally, in the in the class itself, was Okay, so in the classroom, maybe they did have to speak Schwa. I really don't know what this word means. Schwa, flums. Schoon, clean Flemish. Schwa, schoon, schoon flums. Like light bulb moment. Zelfs die vrouw op de spraak na party, dat me hen niet te Spraken like we do. But now it comes to that there are more schoen flammes is all those. But yeah, that is new as well. Ah, no. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not going to watch the whole video because I am already lost in two minutes in. I think I've picked up the key concepts. I think I've recognized a few different pronunciations. Um, a few vowel sounds that have changed between the two dialects I am going to be honest could not hold a conversation with someone speaking this dialect with my limited knowledge of the Dutch that I speak I, yeah if someone was maybe speaking about a topic slowly and not clearly because that's she is speaking clearly it's just not in a way that i understand i would really struggle i would love to know if you guys have any stories where you've encountered dialects that you cannot understand that you i know there are so many in the netherlands there are so many i did a video not too long ago actually it was quite a while ago about a little bit of research that i did on the accents in the netherlands and it blew my mind how many accents and dialects you guys have in this country so i want to know have you guys ever come into a situation where the dialects have just led to a really awkward or crazy or funny situation because i feel like after hearing someone speaking best flums um yeah i'm in awe that i missed so much of it and She's not even speaking like crazy fast either. It's literally just that there are so many different sounds and so many different patterns of where they cut the word off shorter. Yeah. I love doing these accent videos. If you guys have an accent that you want me to try and listen to and understand, please also leave them in the comments below. I find these videos so crazy interesting because English for me is just so like, I mean, Australia doesn't even have different dialects speak English so it's just this is super super interesting if you like these kind of videos again give it a thumbs up subscribe to all the things leave a comment I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching bye